let's continue exploring the user controls in this video we're going to explore the combo box control so I have created here the form for combo box name it uh, FRM combo box let's uh, create a combo box control drag and drop into our form so our purpose or the objective of our program is to display all the line types in this uh, combo box control and we will also select from this combo box and display the selected item to the user so let's name this one as CBO that's the Hungarian notation for the combo box CBO line type so CBO line type okay now we are going to load all the line type when the form is active or is initialized so let's try to activate form is activated let me create a variable to hold the line types the line type as a, a CAD line type and we are going to loop through the line type collection for each LT in this drawing that line types we're going to add into our combo box so CBO line type that add item LT that name okay so that's how uh, we're going to populate the combo box let's give it a try see we have here one two three four five these these are all the line types in the drawing let's investigate one two three four five okay now if I select any item from the combo box there's nothing happening here because we haven't done our code so if I double click on this control the event that is triggered is changed which means that if I select any item from that control it will uh, it will trigger this change so let me create another variable called strlt for line type as a string strlt equals uh, cbo lt line type that text and then just message the user the selected line type is db strlt Let's also create a title here. Line type. Okay. Now let's try. There you go. It's like that line type is continuous. But you might notice here that this is not very intuitive to the user which means that when the form loads if you notice that there's nothing is displayed until we click on this uh, arrow here so there's another there's a way to do that in the user form activate we can also add <coughs> Uh, 
the first option is to either just create a label control here and then say select a line type something like that so which means that the user has to select a land type and he can select any, any land type from here from the combo box however if let's say we don't want this one and we just wanted to add into the list box itself or the, the combo box itself so we can add the prompt cbo line type dot add item we can put here select a line type and then notice this one here the index you can put zero which means that is the first item in the combo box let's try that it's already there but it's still not showing up in in here you still have to click on the arrow it should have been displayed right away as the the default or the current text value so what we can do is cbo line type that selected or that that list index equals zero so that is the first the first element in the combo box okay so let's run the program it says here select a line type assuming that we don't have this label control here so at least now we can see that we are prompted to select a line type and we can select here but there is another problem in this code because the user can still select a select a land type entry which we don't want to be happening in our code so what we can do is we just uh, provide a an if a statement so if the selected text strlt is not equal to this entry it's not equal to this then we will display the message otherwise if the selected value is this one then don't do anything so let's run the program again select continuous yep it's showing up but if we select the line type nothing is happening all right so that's how it works let me now remove this one this label control as we don't need it since our code is already self uh, descriptive all right that's about for the combo box control.